Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys well doing a get ready with me where I do this look. This takes me five to ten minutes to do um, when I'm not chatting on camera like the chatty Gemini I am. Um, and I've been wearing this look basically for the past, I want to say, few weeks or so and I've been posting it at least the past two weeks. For the past little bit I've been wearing it enough where I've been doing it consistently every day and a lot of you guys have been really liking it asking me how to do it so I figured if you also just want to do makeup very quick but you still want it to look like you're put together and you still want to enhance your features this one's for you. Also, I wanted to announce that, as I hinted before, that Clyde is launching their collection. So for now, if you don't know what Clyde is, it is an affordable luxury jewelry line, handmade in LA. Basically, how Clyde will be running now is that every month, on the 15th of the month, a new collection will launch. Usually, the collections will be about three to five pieces, depending on what it is, and there kind of will be like a theme to it. And it will only be available for one week, and it'll be limited edition every month. So it'll launch on the 15th, and it'll be available through the 22nd at midnight, and then it's done, and those pieces will never be brought back. Um, I know it never say never, but they won't be brought back most likely or at least in the, not in the near future. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of how it's gonna run. I'm really excited for it. This month's collection is basically glamour and it's glamour earrings. I showed these earrings before, the ones I'm wearing right now. I hope I did not get makeup on them as I got ready, but basically these are some stunning studs. I'm gonna come a little bit closer. Um, all of them are very unique. These are like a really beautiful pair of studs. You can see really on camera so you can see them like in exactly how they would look like on. They're absolutely beautiful. They sparkle so intense. I don't know what it is. Like the shine in them is wonderful. The next pair of earrings are these really beautiful big um, kind of square studs. If you look very closely on them, they have like one big stud in the center and then a bunch of small studs around. These are absolutely stunning. I'd probably wear these by themselves just because they're a little bit more statementy. so I would take out the little one like this. Of course, you could still stack and layer the two. Kind of, it looks kind of like um, geometric, like different geometric shapes, kind of cool, but I probably would wear it by itself, to be honest. This is what it looks like on the other side, by the way. I wanted to show you guys how it looks like, and this is literally how it sparkles in the light. Like, that's how intense they are. If you were to wear these, I love ambient dinners. Like, you know when you go to dinner and then the lighting is kind of dim inside? I love that lighting. I find it's like the most flattering for girls, or one of the most flattering, depending if it's like too yellow or not, but you know what I'm talking about? Like, these would shimmer in that light, like, insanely. Obviously, these would be so dazzling, like, in any really light, even outside, in daylight, and even in like your house, they're really beautiful, but I feel like also at a dinner, the, the sparkle is just like unbelievable. The last pair, are, uh, we had to bring back a huggy earring. These, you guys love the always earrings, and those we're gonna keep because those are our like bestseller earring. Those in the Aquila, like the, basically the classic hoop. So if you have always, these would be really, and you have two earrings, this would be really pretty to stack. This on the main one, always next to it, the two hoops, but I'm gonna put these in. It's really give me vintage kind of vibe. I don't know how to explain it. I love these also as well. Like I said, these are huggy earrings. So they drop down a little bit like this. Um, and then right like I like exactly where the pendant hangs like it hugs your ear cuff perfectly and then the earring starts hanging right where your ear starts like um, and then I have my hair like half up half down and then I feel like this from the side from the side they draw a lot of attention also they're very like beautiful and dainty like they're obviously a statement because it's such a beautiful crystal but they're also so dainty that it's like ooh, like what is she wearing on your ears again if you like to dress a little bit more simple and out are you going to be going to work or school or something like that these are really beautiful because they can transition to like a date night or something really beautiful formal and elegant but also you can wear them every day if you're wearing you know more formal clothes like to work or something like that so, so that is the collection i will have all the links for pieces down below it'll be available for only one week so i suggest if you like something obviously you pick it up so you can guarantee that you get it and you get it in time um i love you guys so much i hope you guys will enjoy this video so and i'm prime my face with the tarte base tape um hydrating primer of course i washed my face did my skincare and then i used the primer and now i'm going to use the tarte um double duty beauty foundation i use it really lightly this is their face tape foundation I'm in the shade 27H light medium honey and I'd say it's pretty close to being spot on if not spot on I think it probably could be like a little bit more okay do you see them fighting in the background Coco me they like play fight uh maybe it could be like a tiny bit more my tone but it's pr pretty good match and like I said so this is the makeup that I do it literally takes me five to ten minutes I'm obviously speaking with you guys while I do it so it's gonna take me a little bit longer if I were just to sit down and do it max I would say 10 minutes if I'm being real precise or having a hard brow day maybe 15 but yeah I know this is a foundation but I use it very lightly like I literally use this much on my sponge just to show you for like that's really all I'll use and at first I'll start to dab it kind of already saturating in areas maybe where I have a breakout or something like that um 
just so that I know that I'm gonna focus on there and then everywhere else I kind of can do a light coat and just kind of dab it on. Are you on the couch, ma'am? <laughs> me online i'm trying to find like the one item that i saw that i like but i can't find it i'm like searching the web like that's me next i'm going to use a um a concealer and i'm just going to use it under my under eyes and i use it to brighten this is the tarte shape tape concealer in 16n fair light neutral this i really do like the shade of it's a pretty big wand um but i just kind of go like draw it with the pointy draw like a line up i also draw a draw on down the center nose where i want to contour chin and then um center forehead i know i look crazy like this but i'm gonna use the laura mercier secret brightening powder under my eyes this little powder it's reminds me of like the makeup forever kind of setting powder but a little bit i would say it has a little bit of a different texture this one is very um I don't know if it's, just, I think it might be the formula, like it's just very, blends very easily. Of course, I still love Makeup Forever, but this one, in terms of an under eye powder, I just feel like the way it blends, it almost, it literally, as a powder, it melts into your skin, which I feel like that's kind of um, incredible to have in the formulation. Most powders are just like, it literally melts under your eyes as you see like, like white powder and you blend it a little bit and it melts under your eyes and really sets the product in place. So it's on my general face, <laughs> the rest of my face. I'm gonna use this the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I mean, this if you if it's like an if you know you know product. Most people, so like a lot of people, I would say most people who like are translucent setting powders probably are obsessed with this powder. It's honestly incredible. It also blends, it melts into your skin like a dream. I don't know what it is about the formulation, but I'm gonna now do my brows. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay brow palette the brow play palette the taupe trap as you can see um i've really used her and yeah i'm gonna probably do this mostly off camera because i take a kind of a like bit of time to do my brows i don't know just it's a thing now i'm gonna use the hourglass arch brow volumizing fiber gel just to set my brows i'm actually really really low on this product i need one another one and, um but yeah i'm just like kind of setting them into place like so what i want to talk about is kind of like health i know like if you guys have known i've been i mean i've always had a quite strong focus on like health and fitness but i feel like really it's just been like taken to the next level with me the past month or so i mean the past bit i've been eating um the only thing that i would eat before that wasn't plant-based i would incorporate fish and i cut it out completely actually i've been eating fully plant-based um the past little bit and it's really i haven't talked about it too much because i wanted because people, first of all, like are ninjas online. If you say something, I feel like it's very easy to get attacked and very easy for people to kind of jump, jump at you. And so I, I wanted I, before I said anything, I wanted it to be something that I was like kind of sure. And I was plant based before like two. I was plant based for like two years, a little bit over two years, I want to say two or so years. And then I end up incorporating some, and then end up going back to being plant based. Also, my my shoulder is red because. Um, my skin's been super sensitive lately, and I actually, some of my laundry that I got, it's a long story. My skin's been sensitive, that's why it's like, my, my shoulder's red right here, but, um, but I actually, because I was worried about, like, the omegas, but I actually found a new, I discovered, like, a new kind of way of basically making sure I'm getting all my nutrients in and everything like that, and so I've been plant-based for the last little bit, and, um, not eating any dairy, prop, very little to no processed sugar, no gluten, and then, yeah, plant-based, so, it's been really incredible and I'm not going to talk too much about it actually because I'm going to talk about something um, in a little bit like it's coming soon that I'm really really excited about if you've been um, yeah that's all I'm going to say it's something I'm really really excited I'm going to be talking about in terms of that but I also actually decided on New Year's Eve that I'm not drinking in 2020 and I know it sounds like a huge kind of thing and I want to talk about that um, because there's a lot to talk about, right? There's a lot of questions that come with that. I didn't even drink on New Year's Eve. It's not like I got like wasted New Year's Eve and then the next day I was like, that's it, I'm not drinking. I really, I'll also I wanna like, I guess explain my, my history of drinking. I've never was like a big drinker to be completely honest. Like, I don't know, like I would only drink maybe like very, if it was like a social event and like we are all going somewhere or I would have like, and I'd have like, not that, like, but yeah, basically I wouldn't have a lot when I would drink. I would have like maybe one or two cocktails at the most. And that was like maybe a phase for a few months. I would have like martinis. Like I'd have one or two martinis. I mean, I'm sure like, you know, every once in a while there's been outliers where maybe I'd have more. But basically I would drink very like lightly, um, just socially. Like if I was out, whatever, I'd be like, okay, there's a, you know, you go to a restaurant, they have a cool cocktail menu. You're there, you're like, okay, whatever. 
And then I realized I just was like, I cannot do hard liquor. Like, it just doesn't serve me. And what I mean by that is, like, I am so used to feeling so good. Like, I, as you guys know, for me, health and fitness and nutrition is such a priority. Like, I work out every day. I meditate. I'm, like, very focused, as you obviously know, on... Um, I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit with this bronzer. And this is the um, Hourglass Lumin Luminous Bronze Light um, bronzer. And anyway, I just realized that I just like didn't, even if I, I never was really like hung over, insanely hung over. I mean, I'm very sensitive actually to alcohol, so I, if I ever had like, if I had two cocktails, I would be hung over. But I'm just saying like, it's not even like that that was like what I didn't like. It was like, I mean, that plays into it. It's just, it's like the whole thing. Like I was like, I don't like to feel like my, my judgment is like clouded. Obviously when you have, when you drink, you're not going to make the best decisions in terms of like anything. Like if I drink and then someone's like, oh, you want to go get chips and salsa? I'm like, oh my gosh, I love chips and salsa. You know what I mean? You just, your judgment's clouded. I mean, it literally blocks out parts of your brain that have like logical reasoning and you just, I don't know, I would stay out. I would make a decision for myself in terms of, and like, I was never wild. Like I, most people I feel like could maybe quit drinking, not most, but some people, maybe like a good half, or a little bit more who quit drinking probably were like wild or I know some people maybe have like I have no I never have had any like alcohol and I'm not saying that in like a I'm just saying like I never had any alcoholism issues like in my family or with me or anything like that it was genuinely like a decision for me kind of like how I decided to like not eat gluten and not eat dairy not eat processed sugars and not eat many plant-based you know all those decisions were for me because I wanted to feel my best and so I would just realize like what am I like doing like I'm like this doesn't serve me in any way like I'm yeah I'm I'm honestly really probably super funny when I'm after like a martini like I'm entertaining I'm a Gemini I'm already kind of like talking I'm sure if you're a Gemini and you're like you know you get even more funny whatever but I just want to make good decisions in terms of like I would stay out way past like when I want to like let's say I wanted to go home at midnight I would always stay out till 2 a.m or like then I'd wake up the next day and I wouldn't feel as good my workout wouldn't be as good I would still wake up and go to my workout because I'm self-disciplined I have uh, but I wouldn't feel as good sometimes if I felt really shitty I wouldn't go I wouldn't have the same energy throughout the day my nutrition it just it's a domino effect like one night of having even a, a cocktail for me again I'm, I'm all only speaking for me I don't want people to feel judged but if you relate hopefully this can be like you have some some sort of support system and know that someone else is out doing out there doing the same thing I'm gonna keep keep going I'm just gonna um, go do a little contour here look in the thing but yeah, I just, and then so I was like, okay, maybe I'll just try having a glass of wine instead of a, co instead of a cocktail. I don't really have even the sugar ones on, on the menu. I have like, um, basically when I used to order drinks, I would order like um, a Grey Goose Martini with a twist. So like, and that, so like, just basically like literally like vodka. <laughs> Um, so it's not like even had sugar in it, but then I was like, you know, I'm gonna charge drink just just having like wine. So then when I go out to events, mostly it was events, a lot of like my work events that I'd go to. Obviously, there's alcohol there, and so, you know, everyone's having a drink, and so you're like, you know, I should have a drink. It's a, honestly a social thing, and so I'd have a glass of wine, and again, I would just have one glass. I actually started limiting it just to, like, one glass of wine a week or so, like, basically. So, really, a tiny amount of alcohol, and even that, it just, like, I was like, I started thinking, why? Like, why am I having it? Because I don't want to feel any negative consequences of it. I don't like to feel, I don't like to feel drunk, honestly. I don't like to feel, like, out of control drunk. I don't like to feel not good the next day. I don't like to, I mean, you, it's just like, it, like you, you feel like not good the next day. It, your whole your whole body's systems get thrown off. You're not going to be craving the proper foods. You're like your mind's not functioning at its best. You're tired. And also, I mean, alcohol is a depressant. It does, it's proven it will suppress certain chemicals that produce, you, you know, like uh, serotonin, dopamine, things like that. I mean, some alcohols aren't uppers, but like basically for me, it was like, I don't like, I'm like, it's not doing, like, why am I, why am I doing this? And I kept coming back to why, because when you want to fix an issue, you go, you go to the root cause, right? You go, why am I doing this? Where is this behavior stemming from? And honestly, for me, it was like, I just felt like I should almost, I was like, well, I'm at a social event or whatever it is. I felt like I should have it. I'm going to use the Lele Pons palette. I'm going to use the, the Playa blush color. Um, and I was like, well, I just, I guess I'm just feeling like I should. And that's the only reason why I'm doing it. And I was like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, I would just have a glass of wine. It, I wasn't getting out of hand at all. And I just would, like, feel... At that point, when I only had one glass of wine a, a week, I, the next day, yeah, I would, like, still, like, I wouldn't feel 100%. I'd feel, like, 90. I would still feel, like, a little bit more tired. My mind would feel a little bit more foggy. My workout was that much, like, not as good. And, like, it would just... 
it would be like well, this one glass of wine would have like this significant impact on my next day and for me in my days i like to you know i like to eat well and i like to work out and i like to be a value to you guys and be able to you know share and be insp creative and inspired and things like that like that's what i like to do if i'm not feeling my best i can't be my best for myself and for like my community and you know friends family relationships etc and so for me, it just was like, why am I doing this? Like, there literally gives, it, there's, it doesn't serve me, it gives me no value. Like, for me, the, like, the fun, maybe, like, the fun of being, like, a little bit, like, relaxed is not worth, is, like, the, yeah, a little bit, just, like, the fun of being, like, a little bit more relaxed, maybe a little bit more funny, whatever. It's not that little bit, it's not worth all the sacrifice. Like, the pro is, like, feeling fun and flirty. The con is, like, everything else. Like, you know what? This doesn't serve me and I'm just done. And I'm most people, I mean, I don't know what it is. My moon and Capricorn. I don't know what it is. I, if I decide I'm done with something, I'm just done. I don't have, like, a, I don't, like, I'm not, like, a second chance kind of person all, most of the time, you know, obviously case by case. But, yeah, I kind of was just, like, I'm just done drinking. And I, yep, and so then I quit <laughs> and I haven't drank since. I mean, it's only been, like, what, today's the 14th? 13th um when you're seeing this will be probably wednesday it's only been two weeks and i it, it and i won't even lie it is weird when you're out socially because there is such a pressure every i realize every activity in like in in our culture is revolved around eating or drinking everything you want to go you want to go out to dinner you're eating or drinking you want to go see a movie you're probably eating popcorn or you're consuming the film which is another form of consumption you want to go bowling you're drinking you want to go on a vacation you're drinking every almost every activity revolves around eating or drinking and most food that's at restaurants i'm not saying all but majority is not is not good for you like almost a lot of it's like doesn't have good nutritional value it's really cooked in butter so it's usually both a lot of times it's like the it just is not nutritionally dense. It's not good for you. It's going to make you feel bloated and yucky. Most restaurant food because it's cooked to, for flavor, not for um, cleanliness in, in terms of diet, so to say. On my eyes, all I do is literally take one color. This is the Whitney Simmons Tarte Collab. She did a wonderful job on this. Honestly, I think this is a one of, like such a beautiful palette. Very peachy, really light, warm brown. I mean, I'll show you up close just so you can get a take on what it looks like, but that's what it looks yeah, like. Basically, it was like every activity revolves around that, and drinking on a spirit, an energetic level lowers your vibration. It's factually proven. Like there, it, Research can literally track a person's vibration after you take alcohol. It lowers vibration. Like I'm not even going to argue about that. It's a fact. Um, I'm, not, I'm not, and I'm not, like, I'm just saying, it's like, I would still drink, and I knew that, so I'm not here, like, some saint, you know what I mean, I completely was aware of that, um, and yeah, so it just, it's like, I don't want to go do an activity that's gonna make me, le like, a lesser version of myself, like, I want to improve and grow and be the best version of myself for myself and for everyone in my life, and especially for you guys, and so it's like, why am I going to partake in activities that are just like taking away from me? Like the activities I do should build me up, inspire me, make me a better person, not make me, you know, a lesser version of myself. And I love going to like beautiful restaurants. I'm a really big like foodie in that sense. I love like new, cool ambiances and like just beautiful places. I'm a really big restaurant person in that sense. But I think it should be like, you just need to, you know, take it with a grain of salt, kind of like be careful how much you're consuming and what you're having there and you know what i mean uh, it's just that's a personal thing of your your diet i'm not even gonna preach about your diet do you you know what i mean that's a personal whole thing but i'm just saying like you I, and so i still partake in all those things i'll still will go out to restaurants i still go out to like bars and that i just won't drink so and it is weird because your friends are like oh my gosh my friends are like what like they don't people don't understand because it takes i don't know how to say it. it's like it takes a certain level of consciousness i guess to understand and i and only now, even I am understanding, like, I knew that it didn't really serve me, but I just would still, like, do it. Because I was like, you know, I don't know, like, it's, I don't know, it's like you have a glass of wine, you feel relaxed and bubbly, it's, it's lovely. But, like, I guess I just started realizing, like, for me, I don't like none, none of the, I wouldn't, like, the majority of the decisions that I would make while drinking, like, staying out later past my bedtime, being exhausted the next day, eating foods I, no I never would normally eat if I was sober. I just don't want to, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that person. I want to be, like, my fullest, at least I want to set myself up to be my fullest self when possible, right? Like, I don't want to set myself up for loss, basically. And when I, if I even have one glass of wine or when I, for me, when I drink, I'm setting myself up for a loss. I already know I'm not going to feel good the next day. I already know I don't know, my decision making is a bit impaired and yeah, yeah like I mean, there definitely is still peer pressure because people are like, obviously, it's almost like people have to mourn, I'm being dramatic, but they almost have to like mourn a part of you, like the part of you that would drink because 
when you, oh my gosh, I'm getting so passionate because I just know, I feel like I know a lot about this. Because like, so when you drink, you, you lower vibration, so you're yourself, but you're a different version of yourself. Like you and you're fully clear and glowing and radiant and vibrant, and you, when you're drinking, is not the same person. Um, like sure, it's the same human body, but it's not the same vibration. And so people, uh, Rosewood Lip Liner, one of my favorite lip liners by Ro Laura Mercier. Heart H2 Lip Gloss and Blitz Sense from the Holiday Collection. So I don't know if they still have it, but I'll try to find a lip gloss similar to it. I feel like Buxom will have something similar to this color. It's kind of like a peachy coral. Yeah, I guess for me, it's more important to make like meaningful relationships. And I think that, yeah, I, I completely understand like alcohol literally lower. It like, it allows your emotions to come forward more. It like lowers your inhibitions. People call it liquid courage for reasons. So obviously it's a lot easier to bond. You become more confident. Trust me, as a Gemini, I know how I get after two martinis. Most confident person you'll ever meet, honestly. It's <laughs> like groomed on Friday. Um... It's just, she's got a little trim because her breed of dog should never be like cut. They can only be trimmed with scissors. So she got a little bit, she got a wash and a little trim. And I don't know if it's just me, but she looks better than me when I get a blowout. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys her. Also, she's a little nugget and wanted to say hello. Yeah. Come my explanation, like I just, for me, the, the cons outweigh the pros. And I just also, when I really start to pin, pin, like put a pin on it, um, like you, I think you drink still like for, I don't know explain, like you still drink to feel like more fun or to have more fun. And I feel like for me, instead of just having that as like a crutch to have more fun, I'd rather like work on myself internally that I feel more internally fulfilled and more internally grounded. And you know what I mean? I can turn inward aspects of me maybe if I'm not feeling fulfilled in some sense and work on that so that I can feel, because when you're truly fulfilled and ha I don't say these word happy because you know, happy is an emotion. It can come and go, but when you feel fulfilled, like you're happy in any situation, you're happy, relaxed, you're happy with a dog, walking your dog, you're happy out with friends at a bar, you're happy at a nice dinner. And so I feel like a lot of times people go to um, alcohol and I, even I have like just to whine the past, you're feeling like meh or not in the best mood to kind of have that be there for you. And I don't know, I don't, I just, I decided for myself again that I would rather, that I didn't want to do that. And yeah, and I feel, I mean, it's only been two weeks, right? So I can only speak on that, but yeah, like I, Obviously, I wake up, this girl, other girl in the video, she's an express, expression like, you wake up fresh as a daisy because you're not hungover ever, because uh, you're not drinking. And I mean, I guess if you eat some kind of like yucky food, you can feel like kind of hungover. But, um, but yeah, and you feel very clear-minded and you don't regret anything. Like you don't, because everything you say or do is in alignment with yourself yourself a lot more than if you were drinking and so i never think like oh why did i say that or why did i do that or things like that and a bit of peace is always amazing and yeah again like i'm not ever i'm i'm not pushing anyone to either or, or side also i do want to make a little disclaimer um okay cookie baby can you right here um like i said i mainly decided like i told you and i was like first it's like i'm going to ch challenge myself to to all of January basically not drinking for sure and then from there I was gonna be like okay I'll, I'll just kind of like see see my thoughts um, I don't I, I, I know the quote never say never and I really do stand by that so I don't want to say like I will never drink again I will never have a glass of wine again honestly because I just I don't think it's right for me to say that to you guys and because if I'm if I say something I mean it it's like what this there's a song like that by Jay-Z if I say something I mean it no but really if I say something I mean it I don't want to say that and ever you know go back on that so you know, for now, for January, 100%, I will not be drinking. Um, and I don't see myself drinking. I don't intend. Yeah, I, just, I don't see myself going to dr drinking the rest of the year. Um, but again, like, I, I, you know, never say never. But for January, 100%. And if you want to do this challenge with me in February, maybe we could, like, have be a challenge together. I don't know. If my energy resonated with you, feel free to subscribe. I truly love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. Podcast will be back now on every Sunday. And yeah, any information, feel free to look in the description or to message me on Instagram if you still have questions about anything. I love you and I will see you soon. Bye.